done. My God, unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> he deserves this. Oh. Oh. That's a champagne supernova, oh, man, right there. Man. Get another oh, this guy. That's him. Oh. This guy did everything. Oh, my God. Oh my god. We were saying what yeah. this moment is like. Oh. Just like that. Oh my god. You know what? You can play in a Champions League final. Canadians can play for Bayern Munich. And now they're going to World Cups. Canada is a football nation, man. We better believe it. And we're going to keep coming. We've only got started. You sat here in 2018 as I rubbed champagne on my eyes, and you said, we've got to get to the top of that mountain. Yeah. It's not going to be easy, you said, but we've got to get to the top of that mountain. You and this group of men did that. How did you do it? Uh, just belief, absolute belief, and I've got an unbelievable staff. Like, I'll get some of the credit, but the people behind this team, the Robin Gills, the Cesar Milans, the Simon Edis, Jason DeVosses, you know, Daniel Michelucci's a team behind the team. We've been through some tough times, KJ. It's not been easy. I've knocked on doors for money for this team. And we did it. We just kept believing. And we've got talent. You're, you're, you're going to a World Cup. What does that mean to you? You grew up with Gascoigne. You grew up with Maradona in 86. You dreamed of watching, you're watching World Cups. You're going to a World Cup. What does that mean to you from Newcastle? Ah, oh, look. I'm just happy for these lads. You know, when I first took over and I said, we're going to go into a World Cup, we'll qualify, I don't think they believed us. And I'm happy for them because all of these fans, they've waited, they've waited, they've waited, and they've hung in with us. And we're going. <laughs> Belief is an incredible thing, John, and you put that in this team. Congratulations, my man. Deserve Thank you, it. Man. I'm with Atiba Hutchinson. Boy, oh boy, how special is this for you? Special, very special. Um, we're all looking forward to this, this moment for a very long time. Um, the fans today are were unbelievable. The support that they've given us throughout this cycle has been growing more and more. And yeah, this is what we've always been dreaming of. All the players, everybody that's been here, um, you know, paving the way for us. And now the support is unbelievable in this country, and this is how it should be. I know you don't like talking about yourself, but I want to ask you about you. You're 39 years old. You think you've seen it all in football. Can you ever imagine you'd ever see this two, three, four years ago? No, I, I didn't think this was possible. I thought this chance was gone uh, a few years back. And, um, yeah, it was kind of out of my head, you know, to be still playing and giving my, myself a chance to represent uh, Canada and, and hopefully qualify for a World Cup. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> now we've done it. We've done it as a, as a team, as a country, and it's uh, it's amazing. What would it mean to you to play for Canada in the World Cup? What's that going to mean to go as a 39-year-old to go play in Qatar? <laughs> Dream come true. Yeah, it's something I've I've always been dreaming of since I was a kid. Uh, so if I get that chance, if I stay healthy enough, uh, fit enough, it'd definitely be a dream come true. Of all the players today, and every one of them deserves this moment, I am so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you, Christian. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. <laughs> Lloyd, you can hear me okay? You got me okay? Jonathan Osorio, you're going to a World Cup. How does that sound? I don't, I, I'm speechless. Uh, dream come true.
a dream. We all dreamed of this as little kids. And as a Canadian, that was impossible. That was impossible. And today, the impossible happened. It's a, it's an incredible feeling. Oh, what? What's happening here? Richie Larea. We're talking about going to a World Cup, two Toronto boys going to a World Cup. How does that sound? Um, it's crazy. I don't even, I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> I'm lost for words, but it's, it's, a, it's a great feeling. I'll let also answer the rest of it, but man, this is, this is crazy. This is a special day for the entire team. What does this teammate mean to you, these teammates? Everything, man, everything. Honestly, like these guys, everyone on this team here, man, we work so hard for this moment, you know? So to do it here in Toronto, where, you know, a lot of the guys are from, it's incredible, KJ. Sorry for my language, but it's incredible, man. It's incredible. Nobody's going to care about your language. Jonathan Azorio's right next to you. He's your teammate. He banged the drum tonight in the middle of Toronto. What was that like for you guys to see him do that? Yeah, honestly, this guy's done a lot for this this, this program. He's um, led the way and all that, so it's uh, special to see this guy do this for a club and country, and for him to have that moment is, you know, big for all of us, but especially him, his family. Everyone here knows who he is, so this is uh, it's great, it's great. Richie Liray, you played left side, you played right side, you played defense, you played midfield. You're one of the best players in CONCACAF. Congratulations, you're going to a World Cup. Yeah, thank you, KJ. I'm with the midfield Daniel Stefan Estacchio. We've been waiting for a player like you for years, my man. How does this feel? Uh, it feels amazing. I mean, it's very important because we qualified. But even if we didn't qualify, I mean, I made the best decision in my life to come play for Canada. Yeah. Uh, the relationship I have with my friends, I mean, at the end of the day, that's why I'm going to hold on, relationship. Born in Leamington, Ontario, grown up in Portugal, but proud Canadian. What does this mean to you to be with these players today and do this? Uh, it's amazing. When I first started here, I mean, there was 50% of this. And now what we, what we could do all together, us, you guys, the fans, everything, we're going to be in Qatar. Stefan Estacchio, you're going to play in Qatar and represent Canada. How does that feel? That's a dream come true. Portugal in the group, maybe? I hope so. <laughs> I'll let you go celebrate. I'm with Alistair Johnson, born in Vancouver, BC, but came back to Toronto. You all over the country, you represented. Yeah. Special Canadian moment for you. How does this feel? Yeah, this is a Canadian heritage moment. That's what it is. You know, it's it's something that you dreamed of since a child. Um, it's amazing that we finally got it over the line. You know, it's one of those ones that we've been thinking about it. Um, it's been in the back of our minds, but to finally get it done, you know, to really realize we are going. We booked our ticket. It's. It's something, you know, it's, it's hard to really put into words at this exact moment, but the whole group's just so excited. We're so excited for this country, too. I mean, just the energy that we felt. Um, it's been unbelievable, the support. And we can only imagine it's going to get bigger. So, you know, that's it's just a great feeling. I'm going to talk about the group in a minute, but you played an enormous amount of moments in this. You came in pretty early in the campaign, played a lot of minutes, yeah. almost the top minutes of any outfield player. Defensively, you were very important in the game as well. What's it like to contribute and make a significant difference? Yeah, you know, it... It's gonna, I'm going to look back on and be really proud of that. But at this exact moment, I'm just so happy for the group. You know, it's one of those ones that didn't matter how, just matter that it did happen. And, you know, now that we got that done, we're just super excited. But, yeah, you know, I'll look back on it definitely. And, and there'll be some, probably some pretty cool stats, some personal accolades in there too. But the biggest thing was getting to Qatar, and we did it. We did it. You're a football nut. You love your Man United. Your yep. family loves your football. <laughs> you know what it means. for You've been watching World Cup since you were knee high. Oh as goodness. people continue to walk through the shot here. But... What does it mean to you to go to a FIFA World Cup? You know, it's one of those ones. It's the, it's the biggest sporting event in the world. Um, so to be able to, you know, finally be a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> With Maxime Capone, don't leave. Don't leave. Yeah, so what, hey, what does it mean to go to a World Cup? You know, you watch that growing up. For me, it's, yeah. it's you know, to think about us playing with the best players in the world, the biggest countries, the biggest footballing nations in the world. Canada's going to be out there. We're, we're going to be out there. We're, we're there and we're going to win. We're going there to win. Yeah, we're going there to compete, baby. We're yes. not going there just to show up. Exactly. We're going to go there. We want to turn some heads. Win you know, that's what games. it is. Win some yep. games. Exactly. Yeah, so that's our plan. How important was this man, Alistair Johnston, right next to me in this group? Sorry? <laughs> How important was this man to this group, Alistair Johnston? Oh, yes. Is it important? No. Oh, no. no, 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 no. The wall. The wall. The man. No. Oh, man himself stopping, stopping whoever, uh, whoever stepping up. He has no idea against who he's facing the guy. So, <laughs> at least the man. <laughs> this is special for you, Maxime Propos. It is, yes. It is. It is. It's fantastic. You know, it's a, it's a group of guys four years ago. We got together and uh, then uh, we, we've put in the work. We invest our time, effort, and then there it is. You guys deserve this. I'm so proud of you. Go enjoy it. Let's go get some you. champagne, baby. Let's go get